Susanna's journey started with us when she came to one of our open patient events where we had the surgeons talk about the procedures that they do and we had the robot there in the room and people could see what it does and Susanna had the opportunity to talk to the rep and see how it's programmed and all the input, the human input that goes into it and was reassured by that. With Susanna you could see that her mobility was decreasing and pain was getting miserable. Gradually over the last five years it has become worse. I used to ride a lot, I had, we kept polo ponies and I was, I was riding a lot but I found my feet were going numb. I couldn't get my bike anymore, that was too difficult. I couldn't swim, so I had to give up a lot of things really. And I thought, oh, that's it, I've just got to go get this fixed, otherwise I'm really going to be very limited in what I can do. Making a decision about surgery for any patient is a really important decision and patients need to be informed about that process and it's quintessentially their body, their life, and it's a big decision for them to make. And so we try and make sure that we've given them the complete story about what to expect. We have an MDT meeting, so the decision to progress to surgery is not just made by one person, it is shared decision-making. Is this the most appropriate outcome for this patient? Have we exhausted every option before we've actually come to the point of surgery? Spinal School here at the Nuffield Wessex Hospital is an enhanced recovery program where people are invited to come to an informal seminar with their significant others and I introduce them the principles of enhanced recovery which is all about preparing for your surgery and your anaesthetics, you being the best that you can be prior to surgery. And I think it puts a lot of patients at ease. They've actually met a lot of us before they even come in to have their surgery. So they recognise us and we've spoke to them and we know kind of their journey and what they're struggling with and all of those things. So we can help then tailor their stay to help them get back to those things they want to. As part of that path Pathway. It's the work that Teresa and her team and the physios do pre-surgery and then post-surgery it's not just you're now fixed, you've got a few metal rods and screws in your back, off you go. Actually there's a very long six month pathway of what recovery looks like and that recovery is physiotherapy, progressing into hydrotherapy, then progressing into PT. They've got that onward contact then with Teresa around how they are recovering. And they feel more in control, which is really makes a difference. And people say, I'm not scared, I'm excited now. And I was like, great, that's day zero. And now we're gonna get on and give you a better life. You just feel that they are geared up towards this particular specialism. And so that gives you a lot of confidence as a patient. Once Teresa was on board and set up the pathway of care, then the next step is, right, what technology do we now need to look at? And as a robotic hospital for hips and knees, I started to look at what options were out there for spinal surgery. The main benefits are it gives the surgeon access to more data with regards to the surgery. So we can take preoperative scans, we can load that into our software and we can optimise the positioning of the implants that the surgeons are going to place in those procedures via the, the scan and the planning software. On top of that, we then have the intraoperative robotic assistance, which is via our robotic arm. It's a very rigid arm, so it gives the surgeon physical assistance in the procedure. They're still deploying the instruments themselves, but they have the assistance of the robot arm to guide them. I feel so pleased to have waited to have my surgery so that I can have this robotic technology because I think it just provides a level of accuracy. It um, gives you enormous confidence to know that that is there. Since my operation, I woke up in recovery, quite comfortable, it's a very calm place to be. I had a one-to-one -one nurse looking after me, so I felt quite safe. I did get up on my feet the first day after the operation, which was quite scary, but actually I had a physiotherapist with me and the nurse with me. The hydro pool is amazing, and the first time I got in there, I think it just really did take me by surprise about how much you can move when you're weightless. Susanna's done incredibly well after her surgery. I've just seen her in clinic uh, this afternoon and she's making fantastic progress. She's delighted with things at this stage, I think is, is fair to say. A lot of her symptoms have actually demonstrated considerable improvement already at this stage, which is great news given the complex intervention that she had. Her x-rays, her radiographs we took today reflected very nice alignment in her spine, good position of the metalwork, nice fixation and good stabilisation. I think you do feel a little bit anxious when you first go home because you've had all the security of being in the hospital but actually they gave me um, a lot of information but they also gave me a telephone number of the ward so that I could contact them if I had any queries and also I had Teresa, the spinal nurse's telephone details as well so I could contact her if I had any concerns. 
every week. I could just walk a little bit more. I was getting outside by a couple of weeks after the operation. And then really by sort of five weeks after the operation, it was noticeable that it was just getting much, much better. I could sit for much longer. I could meet up with a friend for coffee. I could go out for a walk with the dog. Just seeing that steady recovery and progress and having little wins each week just makes it worthwhile. And I think that the speed of recovery is probably testament to having the robot. It's extremely pleasing and rewarding when a patient comes into your consulting room after had any sort of operation, least of all a, you know, a major intervention such as, as Susanna has had, but coming back in with that smile on their face, with expressing their thanks, it's, it's incredibly rewarding.